Hey guys, a lot of people have been asking me for my stream how I play Apex with Japanese voice lines but English UI. So I thought I'd do a quick tutorial to show you guys how to do this. It's really simple, it'll take only about two minutes. So you want to go to your Steam client, you want to go to properties, you want to go to local files, sorry, you want to go to language. You want to go down to Japanese and select this. It'll start a 4GB update, shouldn't take too long to download. One eternity later. Okay, after that's done downloading, you want to go to properties again, you go to your local files, browse, audio, ship, and then you'll see these two new files that were not here before. You want to rename these both with an underscore at the front. You can also drag these out of the folder if you want to, they just need to not be read by the game. I think the underscore does this effect. Now that you've done that, the game won't delete them whenever you switch back to English which is the entire point of this. Okay, so now you want to switch back to English. Update. And now it won't erase the uh, Japanese voice lines from your game. So you go back to properties. You go to launch options. And you have to put in a command, which is plus miles underscore language space Japanese. Go back to your local files and you want to remove the underscore from these files so that they can be read by your game. Now that that's been done, you can close all this out, make sure that your language is set to English so that your UI is in English, and that your launch option is plus miles underscore language space Japanese, and then boot up your game. Now that you've done all of those steps, the easiest way to check and see if your voice lines are in Japanese but your UI is in English is as you can see, the UI is currently in English. Let's go to Legends. We'll, uh, we'll go to Wraith. Go to Banners, and then Intros. And click any of these. You'll hear the voice lines now in Japanese, which means that the uh, patch works. Now, the only thing you have to do is every major update for the game that adds new content, you'll have to repeat those steps. You don't have to do it for hot fixes, though. Just big updates that add new content to the game. Hopefully this helps you guys, and it was easy to understand. Thanks for watching.